Hello, my name is Francis Kohler, and I live in San Francisco, California. Um, first off, I love your questions. These are great questions. Um, your first question is, have I ever been inspired in the bathroom? Yes, I have been inspired in the bathroom uh, on a number of occasions. Um, part of that is I have books in the bathroom. So I read when I'm there and um, I have a little pad of paper and a pen because uh, from time to time I'll get these uh, uh, ideas and I, oh, I better write this down so I don't forget it. Um, so yes, I definitely get inspired in the bathroom. Um, love that question. Um, and then your second question is, um, is there a special uh, fruit or food that I eat? Um, I love Japanese food, sashimi especially. Uh, so every Friday I go to a restaurant that's near my house and I get takeout and I bring it home and eat it in the kitchen. Uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, I would eat in the restaurant, but I've had to adjust. Um, and it's just something that I look forward to every Friday. And I think it's important to have little rituals or little things that you can look forward to in your life. Um, it's a good thing. Um, your third question is, what is my education and what did I study? Uh, after high school, I went to junior college, or I think they call it community college now. And it's um, a less expensive kind of college to go to, and you can um, get some of your four-year college requirements out of the way for less money. Um, and I had a basic idea that I was going to go to a four-year college, and I thought, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to study general education at the community college, get some of those classes out of the way so that when I eventually transferred to the four-year college, um, some of those credits would transfer and I would um, save some money. Uh, because again, generally speaking, the four-year colleges are more expensive. So once I got to the San Francisco Art Institute, um, uh, some of my credits transferred, not a lot, um, but I only had to do three and a half years instead of four years for my Bachelor of Fine Arts. And when I entered the um, the San Francisco Art Institute I entered as a sculpture major because I was interested in uh, creating environments in which to project films uh, because I had a, had a lot more experience making films. Uh, I'd been making films from a pr pretty young age and um, I started thinking about you know why are we just stuck watching movies in these square rooms, um, rectangular rooms. I felt like, why aren't we projecting films in these other kind of environments? And so I thought I should, uh, you know, study sculpture and kind of figure out, you know, what are some alternatives, uh, alternative ways of, of showing films. Um, there's still a lot more work to do in that area, I, you know, by myself and other people. Um, I think there's that's still a, um, a territory that uh, could be explored. Um, and then you asked, uh, when I was young, how did I imagine myself in the future? Um, well, I imagine myself older. <laughs> um, but when I was really young, I was really into dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs, and I used to tell people, I'm going to be an archaeologist when I grow up, even though I think the correct term is paleontologist. Um, I was, I wanted to study dinosaurs and fossils and all of that. Um, and then I, as I got a little bit older, I really started to get into old monster movies, like from the 30s and 40s, you know, Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, King Kong, and um, started to imagine myself like, you know, maybe being an actor or a makeup artist or a filmmaker, um, you know, making monster movies. Um, so I think that that covers that. <laughs> um, 
And then your final question is, uh, do I like my work? Um, I work at Creativity Explored, uh, which is a fine arts program for adults with disabilities in San Francisco. Um, and I like parts of my work. Um, when I first started working there, um, over 25 years ago now, um, I was a teacher and I loved working with the artists and sort of helping them bring their artistic sort of goals and visions to life, you know, um, and staying out of their way as much as possible and letting them just express themselves and only helping them when they wanted help or needed help or wanted suggestions. Uh, I love that, that part of my job and I'm still doing that. Um, but over the years, my job sort of morphed, transitioned into this management position, um, which I'm, I'd say, <laughs> less happy with. I, I, that's, doesn't, that's not a good fit for me so much. I'm not really into managing. I'm, uh, I kind of like the teaching part and the helping artists with their work. Um, so yeah, I like parts of my job and I'm not so fond of some parts of my job. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope that answered all of your questions. Um, and thank you for asking those questions. And I hope whatever you decide that you're going to do, um, I hope you're successful and um, good luck with your life and um, take care.